You got to roll good. You have to roll money. Yeah, it's not happening. Yeah, you feel better, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I always forget to keep that elbow control. That's what I'm saying. He's like, so trying to get my brain on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. No, it's keeping that angle. Once you get that angle on the elbow, it's like right it up. So this guy's gonna circle with you a little bit too, because if he, yeah, and now you're gonna, keep, yeah, no, it's, you gotta pull your hand back right away. Because if, if, uh, if you ankle pick me, go ahead, hand it. Keep the head, yeah. And you keep the head here. Like I can start, uh -huh. like so let it behind. Uh, let it go, like let it go. Yeah. Once so I, once as soon as you shut the bail. Yeah, as soon as he gets his butt. Can so I go here? Mm -hmm. Gets his butt. Nah, I'm now I'm pulling back. Right to this. And you're kind of touching him with that angle, right? Yeah. Well, kind of like backward diagonally. Yeah, yeah. But like right here, you try to kick away. Like I have a hold of it. If I go here, kick away. Ah, so you're going. So over top with one, underneath the other. Yeah. Now I have this. Now I, I think hold on the head's like a jiu-jitsu thing. Like, I don't want to like hit his head, right? Yeah. You don't want to jump on the net. Yeah, but that's what you're going to get, like, like, from what I was so watching yesterday, yeah. yeah, you can get, like, shoulder crunch or, like, yeah. a, lot, a lot of different things. Yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Uh, this really good. Yeah. And then I can, yeah. Right into, yep. Hey, Jason, what, you, what is your... Like I see your motion is just so so crazy. That's kind of how you're setting up this. Yeah. Like what are you thinking when you're gotta work down your feet, maybe you high up like how are you connecting you know, yeah, I felt that diagonal angle with him. He said he says like kind of backwards diagonal. Yeah. What we were Little turn? Yeah, exactly. It's like slight. Well just like more shots. Yeah. That makes it so hard. Yeah. But I want you to see. See and then do. Sometimes when you direct that elbow, that'll happen. It's, it's happening. I want to step outside of this leg and diagonal towards the wall. And what that's going to do, it's going to create that sideways pressure, but it's also going to push him back on his heels at the same time. So I'm stepping there, and I'm not hitting my knees. I saw a couple of y'all hitting your knees. I'm just staying on my feet and nice and light. Boom. Here. Okay, one, two, three. You guys can consider low level. This is mid level, and that upper body is up here. Anytime I attack your hips, I'm not hitting my knees in your gym. In wrestling, I am. But not. Because yeah. you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you, you That's right. Shit, shot like, straight for freaking MMA. Because like, right? Because I'm right-handed, but in fighting, I have to leave my left leg. So skipping right to that second step is huge. It's so, it's so much quicker too. You're cutting out like 30% of the move. What's up? Yeah, here. I'll set it up by being here. Boom. Plus, if you drop your knees, you have the wrist. Sean, just just covered a little bit. So for example, if he collar ties me, if I'm left leg, he collar ties me over here, I'm gonna clear it, and that's fine in my left leg, but now, if I'm going over here, I'm gonna switch my lead leg. This is gonna be confusing, so this, you just guys gotta like play with it a little bit, but, um, and then over here, this is just easy, because you go one leg the whole time. The other side, you have to switch your lead leg after, after you roll it. Make sense to everyone? <laughs> Yeah. 
so much easier. What's their chins like right there? Was it sagging hard that one? Yeah. a little easier to side. You feel that angle. Exactly. Get to your underhook here. So, so what I'll do is I'll go fingers on top, thumb down, kind of on his forearm wrist here. I'm posting on his shoulder with my opposite hand. And now I'm pushing off my back foot here. And I'm going to roll this over my head here as I press into him and now back to the elbow like you were before get back to the stuff um, well if you try to back up and clear the tide if he color ties me and I try to back up he's just gonna keep pressuring me right keep pressuring me like I can't clear here so I have to push him forward here big step here my fingers are on top I push forward and I roll his hand over my head. I'm not turning to the side like this. I'm just looking straight down here. And now from here, I'm getting back into my elbow. Circle and get to that double leg again. One more time. He collar ties me, we're ear to ear, or I'm having a hard time clearing this. I'm gonna go uh, fingers on top, thumb down here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna push off this back foot. So again, Whatever side he's collar tying me, that's the side that I have to lead leg. So I'm on my left side, he's on my left side, so my left leg lead. So here, I'm gonna push into him, roll this over my head. Here. Now I'm getting back to that stuff. Any questions? I think uh, just from seeing people try these techniques before, like when they're, when they're taught, a big thing people do, like some of the most common mistakes, just so we can cover them now, is they'll like try and push this arm up in the air. Or they'll try and like lower their butt and like duck under it. He's really just moving his neck and pushing uh, my arm like this, like pushing it straight. He's not pushing it like up towards the ceiling. Right, yeah, that, I agree. Th yeah. This is, I feel like this is the biggest. People try to lift this over their head and try to like squat underneath it. Yeah. Exactly what he just said. Watch so. his neck when he hits it. It's really, and watch his, Watch his, it's gonna be hard to watch his neck and his legs, but. Watch, just watch my position. His legs don't move, it's, it's, besides pushing, he isn't like lowering, he's just really rolling his neck. So we're here, here. My, my head pretty much stays at the, or my, my shoulders stay at the same level here. I'm just pushing and rolling that. So anytime you're in wrestling, you don't, you wanna have the tie that you wanna have. So, uh, Anytime, like, you got to figure out what tie you want to have if you're in the tie-up. So, uh, if you don't know, 
make sure you know, and then or find out. And uh, but I, I, like obviously, like Gino said, inside tie is good. Um, clearing the wrist, getting to the elbow. If I have this position, it's good. But if this guy's collar tying on me, I'm gonna have a hard time scoring. So if you're in a position that you don't want to be in, you gotta clear it right away. The more time you give this guy to hang out and relax, the the longer it's gonna take you to score. I would say that this like piece of technique is probably one of the best things that we'd be able to teach anyone because it's so fundamental in terms of getting like to where you want to be. Um, and it's definitely the most effective. Yeah. So. Ready? One, two, three.